hello all welcome back to tech capture so today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic in a google cloud that is a google cloud a data flow so this is a very very important service in a google cloud so if you are preparing for a professional cloud architect or a professional data engineer certification then you will get a lot of questions on this a google cloud a data flow even when you are working as a cloud architect in any of the organization then you should have a complete knowledge at least a basic understanding of a google cloud a data flow how we can create a different pipelines using a data flow and how we can process the data using different patterns in a data flow so i'll just walk you through about a data flow and then i'll go ahead and create few data flow pipelines in our project on a google cloud console so let me go to the next slide here and first we'll see uh, what is a data flow so i won't waste much of time on a theoretical part but i'll cover few major points here which will be asked in a data engineer or architect exam so first is a data flow is unified stream and batch processing service so why it is called unified because it support both stream and batch processing so this is a major feature of this uh, data flow service and there is a lot of requirement where you have to process the data in real time or near real time then data flow is very useful in a google cloud second feature that it is serverless so whenever you are creating a data flow pipeline you don't need to create any node manually so it will take care of that at the back end so for you it just you need to create a pipeline and based on your code utilization it will just create a worker nodes at the back end one more important thing here that it is based on apache beam open source programming model so beam is nothing but batch and stream so you can just see the color code here i use so apache beam is nothing but a combination of batch and stream processing so it support both batch and stream processing okay so just if you are not clear with the batch and stream difference so let me give you a one example so you have storage bucket where you will get a multiple files and then you have to move that file from one bucket to another bucket now what you can do you can schedule one job okay uh, so suppose you are scheduling on hourly basis or a daily basis so on daily 12 am you will check all available files from that bucket and move that files to the next bucket on next day 12 again you will check for the new files and you will move to another bucket so this is a batch that you schedule for a particular timing but suppose if you want a real time result so whenever there is a new file in the bucket it should immediately uh, move the files to the another bucket so there should be a real time streaming on that bucket so that is called a stream or a stream processing so whenever there is a new content updated it will immediately uh, pick that event or that content and process your data okay so that is a stream processing you can show so there is job will always keep running but bad job will just start do the particular operation and end okay so that is the difference between batch and stream processing now we'll see the next feature so in google cloud this provides a multiple inbuilt features so where you don't need to write your apache beam code and you could you can use a inbuilt template so in our videos we'll be using a templates only so we'll see what are the different templates and these are enough whenever you are doing a basic data processing operation in a google cloud so I'll walk you through all the templates and we'll show you what we can do using inbuilt template in a Google Cloud a data flow. And these templates can be used instead of writing our pipeline code. Now these are all theoretical part I have covered. Now I won't waste much time on this theoretical part here. So I'll go and create a data flow job. So what I will do, I'll create one batch job. So what kind of batch job I'll create? I'll just create one spanner table, spanner instance and I will, I will create a batch job using data flow where it will just uh, check the data in the spanner database and it will export the data from the spanner table and it will export into the csv file and put that file into the gcs bucket that is a one example another example i will keep one csv file in gcs bucket and using data flow i will load that gcs file into the bigquery table then again i will show you example of stream job in stream job i will pick to example here one so i'll keep pushing messages to gcs bucket uh, sorry i'll keep pushing messages to the pub sub topic and whatever the message 
am publishing into the PubSub topic will get written into the GCS bucket file. So it keeps streaming the public, uh, sorry, PubSub topic and keep writing into the GCS bucket. One more thing I will do here. So I will create one streaming job for spanner change stream. So I will explain you what is the change stream on what is CDC or chain data capture. And so basically it will just keep looking for the spanner database. And if any of the object we are creating the change stream is updated or record is deleted or new record is inserted, we'll immediately inform to the downstream using the change stream. So we'll create that uh, change stream job also using the data flow. Then we have few utility job just for a basic operation might be we can use it to avoid manual operations here so like a bulk compressor suppose you have thousands of file in your gc storage bucket in csv format but you want to store that in a zip format so you can use this a bulk compress option where you can compress all the storage bucket files into the zip format okay so we'll see all this example for this video i will stop here and from next video onwards we'll keep creating our data flow job so we'll see you in the next video